Hi there, welcome to another new session in Deepak's Kitchen. This is Deepak Kshatriya and I welcome you all to absolutely new and wonderful episode. In this session, I'm going to show you a spicy chicken fry which you can make it in a just to 10 to 15 minutes and believe me, it's absolutely delicious and it will be so easy also. So, without much of it, let's see how to do this yummy recipe. So, Let's check it out. The ingredients required to make this chicken fry are nearly a one inch of cinnamon stick, two green cardamom, four cloves, half a teaspoon of jeera powder, quarter teaspoon of kasturi methi powder, quarter teaspoon of black peppercorn, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, six to seven green chilies, half a teaspoon of stone flour, salt as per taste, four strands of curry leaves, onion finely chopped one number, one cup of fresh coriander leaves, half a cup of fresh mints that's pudina, 500 grams of chicken with bone, oil two tablespoon, ghee one tablespoon. And now let's see how to do this. And here you can see I have taken nearly 500 grams of chicken. I always prefer this to do with the with bone because it tastes much tastier. So what I've done is I have washed them thoroughly two or three times using some salt and turmeric and I have added lots of salt and lots of water until this gets submerged and allow this to brine for about a two hours. Actually, this is a brine chicken and this process is known as a brining. So, this chicken is brined and it's now ready. So, let's keep this aside. And now I will take a mixy jar. To this, I will add all the ingredients which is necessary for the masala. First, I will add the stone flour, the black peppercorn, cinnamon, cloves and the green cardamom and the green chilies. These chilies are very spicy. That's the reason why I am using nearly 4 to 5. You can always adjust the green chilies according to your taste. So we will add the green chilies at this point and the mint and the coriander leaves. Grind this to a fine paste and add water only if required don't add too much add only one or two tablespoons of water and make a really fine paste of it and now you can see this masala paste is perfectly done it is this smooth and it should be like this so we'll keep this aside and now you can see i have taken a kadai and i kept it for a heat it's nice and hot in this i'm going to add nearly two tablespoons of oil and one tablespoon of ghee which and which is prepared in my home and will allow this to heat up and you can see the oil and ghee is nicely hot in this i will add the chopped onions and lots of curry leaves give this a nice mix and allow just the onions to get translucent and it will take anywhere between one minute on a high flame and now you can see the onions has been swept nice and good at this time we'll add just a pinch of turmeric powder give it a quick stir and immediately add the chicken Remember, this is a brine chicken. If you don't have time to brine chicken, na, you just need to marinate the chicken, adding some salt and turmeric and allow it to rest for about a minimum of a 20 minutes. And now, just mix this nice and good and allow the chicken to cook until it oozes out its moisture. It's been nearly a one minute you can see the chicken has oozed some of its moisture. This is the right time to add the ginger garlic paste and the salt. But keep in mind that we have brined the chicken. It will take a little bit of a less of a salt. Don't add 
salt at a time you just check the salt and then you can add gradually and you need to mix this nice and good and now in this i will add the prepared green masala paste give it a nice mix wow just look at a lush green color of this it's so beautiful and absolutely delicious look all the chicken has been nicely been coated with this masala so what i will do is i will close the lid and turn the flame to medium to low and allow this to cook for about a 10 minutes and now it's been nearly a 5 minutes let's open the lid wow the aroma is to die for it's that good look the chicken needs to cook some more so what i've done is i have taken the mixer jar to this i've added some water and will add the leftover water to this in this i will add a half a teaspoon of the jeera powder and i will add the roasted kasturi methi powder which i have made will add this this will give a beautiful aroma and a beautiful flavor to the recipe so what we need to do is we'll mix them one more time now everything is perfect in this at this time you can check the seasoning if you want more salt add it or else you want some more spice na just slit two or three green chilies and add it even that will taste beautiful so now everything is perfect in this case and i will close the lid and allow this to cook for about a 5 to 6 minutes on a low to medium heat that's it and the delicious chicken fry will be ready and now look the wait is over it's nearly been a 5 minutes wow just look at this color look all the oil is floating on the top and the fry is also perfect the chicken is also cooked to a tenderness wow look how colorful and how beautiful this looks and now a quick and easy chicken fry is now ready to taste let's plate this and have a feast ah ha ha just look at the color of this chicken fry ah ha awesome if you have all the ingredients and all the items ready na you can just do it within a 15 minutes that's it it is that quick and delicious at the same time i hope you guys like this video if so you know what to do right touch the subscribe button click the bell icon and touch the notifications to all then only you will get all our updates and one more thing just prepare this recipe and post that prepared pic in the instagram and don't forget to tag our deepak's kitchen with following our page also <laughs> so i'll be back with another recipe till then deepak chatriya signing off and jai hind jai karnataka namaste catch you in next one bye bye